Okay, if we didn't have a baby, you think it would work out? Not forever. Just being honest. All right. You can replace me. If you're quitting, I gotta do. I gotta buy you guys a therapist or something. I gotta make sure you guys get married because I don't want this to stop. I'm just, I mean, I could speak from experience sometimes. You say stuff, sometimes you say stuff that's really nasty. And then when you're done with the conversation, you go, wow, I, I don't believe anything I just said. That was like super over the top and nasty. You ever had that experience? I just, I've never said anything like nasty like that privately about him. Like and not even publicly. I never said anything nasty like about him, like his looks or his appearance or anything. Mm. Did you hear what she just said? Okay. She just said she'd never said anything publicly or privately. That's nasty. So her explanation now, you see how she could just say that straight. Like, this is my stance. I've never said anything publicly or privately. That's nasty because she said earlier, oh, what I said on the, my own podcast, it wasn't nasty because it was just whatever. It wasn't anything. So that's how she's clarifying. Yeah, she said something publicly, but it wasn't nasty. Okay. Okay, Trish. Let's say I give you that. Okay. You've never said anything nasty about Moses because what you said on your podcast let's just say it wasn't nasty I'll give you that Moses and you a text saying that I go with underage girl that was Ooh, Moses say what now Moses what does she do so you see right here Trish said she never said anything nasty and we kind of gave it to her but then Moses brings up what she did say that was nasty about him. Okay, Trish, how are you going to handle this one, Trish? Because, you know, Trish, you are a wordsmith. Please, I have to see you talk your way out of this one. No, inappropriate true. age, girl. Yes, not did. under no, age. No, oh, my God. Under age, he read it. Well, I can and go back he, to that if you want to go back. Then... Moses says, no, you said it. And then he read it. But did you hear Trisha? Nope, nope, I didn't say that. Nope, I can show you I didn't. Trish Trish, now, now, now I gotta show it. Now I gotta show it. Okay. Oh, he talked here. He, you said he talks to underage girls. No, right there. He talks to underage girls. Where? Where? I, I literally don't see. Right it. there. He talks to underage girls. Confirm that it think says of what that. that was. Yes, but there it is. So is is the technicality that she didn't say it? She typed it. Is that the technicality? Because she said, "Nope, I didn't say it." didn't say it no that can't be it because moses said you you dm'd it to ethan and ethan read it trish just just outright flat out i didn't say it wow he read it here but i think but i think it's out to the world it's but exactly hold on the same I, thing. I think <laughs> i hear moses it's out to the world it's exactly the same thing trish has turned her head not even paying him any attention moses talked to the crows she is not even paying you any mind no Moses is not the same thing. Nope. You just watch me as these crows feast on my head. That you, you clearly have, you clearly are able to get over things better than her, right? We can say that. Yeah, of course. So I think that, you know, it's, it's tough because like you guys have obviously done hurtful things to each other and it's, you, you have a, you're able to get over them easier. So it's, so you have to be careful not to hold her to that same standard. Cause for some reason it's just, she, she gets hung up on things more. I mean, the way I see it is that if you really love someone, you can forgive them. And if you forgive them, you forget. I forgive them, but I can't no, forget you it. you can't forget it. So you're not forgiving. No, every time we have That's sex, I think, forgiving. oh, my pussy stinks. You try and go down on me. And I'm like, no, my pussy stinks. Don't do that. I, I literally stop you. I'm like, stop. Because it like makes me uncomfortable when I tell you that. I'm like, this makes me so yeah. uncomfortable. Like, stop. Because I think about that comment. And so I can't forget. It's not that It's not that I don't forgive you. And I'm, I know you probably said it because you were hurt or whatever. But it's so, it stinks so bad because no one's ever said that. So it's like fucking awful like we only have sex like every few days now because i'm like i don't even crave it i don't even want it because i feel so and it's like sticks in my head it really does and i do talk to therapists about it and they're like well if you can't let it go which is like just like cheating if you can't forgive someone fully you can't move forward you see that you can't move forward she wants to move forward but right now she can't move forward you have to just break up if you can fully forgive someone then you can try and work on it whatever then i like just fully can and it has nothing to do with like i'm so sad without you like that's why i called mm -hmm. you because i was like fuck like i'm so dependent on him now and i'm like but it just sucks because i'm so like i have so much hate in me still for like hate mm -hmm. for him and it sucks because i don't want to be that way not necessarily hate but like maybe resentment yeah that's the same i don't think it's the same
Moses is well, like, sir, like, you can either love everyone or hate everyone. There's no in between. I'm like, that's no, not true. I, I hate certain people. I disagree. I mean. Well, if that's Moses' philosophy, and right now he's saying he forgave you and he's over it so i guess that means he loves you right now that means you hate him because in his philosophy so moses i'm talking to you directly right now if trish to your standards at this moment hates you or she cannot get over it so she's saying now she hates you she doesn't love you what are you still doing there you said you can either hate or love she's choosing hate right now moses she hates you there's no in between with you, right? She hates you. So what are you still doing there? You think I'm going to sleep next to somebody that I think hates me? Look, you you took a lot of trauma, clearly, and things take time to process and to, you know, see how you feel about it and to get through it. I don't think things are so binary as as you're describing. You say you say you can either you have to forgive and forget or or what'd you say? Forgive, yeah. Forget. If you forgive, you forget. I Moses, you should write that down. Start your own philosophy. You need to forgive and forget. Okay. Because literally, you can't forget. So what does he mean exactly? I just want to know what he means. Because forget. So then you can never bring it up. Okay. So then why are you bringing it up? It should have been forgotten in your memory. So right now, when she's justifying every wrong thing she did to you, you should just let it fall off your back. You shouldn't even defend try to defend yourself because the wrong things you did to her should be forgotten you should say hey, trish what are you talking about i didn't do that <laughs> it's forgotten i hate his philosophy i don't spend every so day stupid. thinking about the stuff she did i don't you yeah you do moses because you gave us a play-by-play -play of what she did to you so it's stored somewhere in your memory bank <laughs> Listen, you're the one who brought up that Trisha said you were you dealt with underage people. You talked to underage people. You brought that up. Maybe Ethan would have forgot to even mention that rebuttal. You brought it up. <laughs> you should have forgot that because you said you love Trisha. You forgave Trisha. So why are you bringing it up in this argument? You should have sat there quiet according to your own philosophy. I have to acknowledge that you, your brain, your attitude, the way you you conduct yourself is not the same that she does and you can't just expect her to be you right no i don't yeah that's why i'm still around and i'm trying and i say everything i can to make up for it and yeah no you didn't say everything you can to make up for it because she's telling you what she perceives you did wrong and you're justifying what you did you're like no i was only texting and she slept with 10 guys why are you bringing all of that up if you're trying if you love her and you are forgetting about it no no it's still in your memory as it is in her memory because when she brings up something you did to her you're ready to bring up what she did to you you guys are doing the same thing you guys are the same person so but one time I said something negative, but for three months I'm saying everything things positive. She doesn't hold on to that. She only holds to the one negative thing that happened months ago. Right. She won't let it go. Well, yeah. I mean, it is, it was her. I, mean, yeah, I tried. It's very I really want to try yeah. and let it go because, like, Moses is like the best person on paper. He's calm. He has his own job. He likes me. He's into me. Like, I like him. Like, it's perfect. It doesn't sound like it. You can't talk trash about your boyfriend at the time and then end it with he's like the best person like oh and then start saying all these good things about him. <laughs> Not after the year you spent a good portion of time talk dogging him out. You dogged him out. You were like just because I'm thinking he's what he did to you even though it was before you guys were dating just the way that you're bringing it up it's like you you're meant to think that he's a horrible person and then now you're gonna clean it up by going oh he's he's a, uh, yeah he's the best person and, uh, no i'm not believing that no you you totally tarnish his character to just think now that you can say a couple of words to repair it <laughs> not happening but that it's why i am trying to let it go it's not like do I you think maybe well do you no, I think you want to hold, hold on to it. You think maybe you're just trying to self-sabotage. It's like you're clinging on to something really negative that happened a few months ago. And you're like, you won't let this thing go. Even though he's been really good since you guys have been steady. He's been, he hasn't made those same mistakes. So it's like, you're like, I have to obsess over this one thing that's going to try to sour this relationship that's otherwise, you know, idyllic. It's like a self-sabotage. Right, Ethan, because she wants more. Because what you're saying makes sense. Why are you making this big deal if you're saying this guy is the nicest guy and blah, blah, blah? Why are you making a big deal out of something that happened before you guys were serious together? Like, why are you making a big deal of it? 
because as she said he's the greatest guy she's ever dated and he's shacking up with her no that's not what she wants everybody's buying their mega mansion and she wants her mega mansion too it's more of just like I feel like I will never be able to trust him and like he can't do anything to fix that it's just it's literally on me like I, I can't get over it I think you don't you think that it's you don't acknowledge that maybe it's a self-sabotage I don't think so because I really do talk to a therapist and like I don't think it is in this because I really want it to work out Hmm. so bad like so so bad i believe that yeah 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 she wants it to work out so bad so hmm. i don't i i I hope not i just like if it's something i really can't get over i don't want to have this like when he shows me a tiktok i'm like it sucks you know did you hear that when he does a tiktok she's all like that sucks no because i just want him to feel like hurt too you know what i mean like i want him to have a bruised ego like i have a bruised ego and that's well, she did tell you guys. Pain. Honestly, I'm not. I'm. I'm bitter like that. I'm a petty bitch. Where I'm like, if if I, you're gonna make me feel pain, I'm gonna make you feel that same pain. <laughs> like it's like not healthy for him. You're either. upset. Yeah, I see. You're just resentful all the time. Yeah, and I've been. Or not all the time, but like just recently. Like Lately. you guys got in a fight, so maybe you guys just needed some time to kind of let things cool, and then yeah, and then maybe once these negative feelings settle, then you won't be just constantly thinking. And see, right there, they need time to cool it off. We're going to find out later that they did, in fact, cooled off for about a couple of days, five, so to speak, that they did take a break. But we'll get into that in the next podcast. Because it's like you you get these negative feelings and when they trigger, then you like you go back to like the time he hurt you the most. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Yeah, because I didn't think about it. I think you need to let it settle a little bit. He logged me out of the Instagram and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, it took me back to the fake, the hiding the DMs, not being truthful. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it was weird. think that's important to remember yeah going forward because like one doesn't have anything to do with the other but you're associating them just because you're mad at him so i think maybe just let it settle and then i wouldn't make any rash decisions because let's let's be honest we all ship you two we ship it hard i feel like i'd quit the podcast if we broke up like i almost quit what Mm -hmm. why would you quit the podcast because i don't want to see you know she looks like moses that part killed me (laughs) Let me just rewind that. (laughs) I don't want to (laughs) see. Because I don't want to (laughs) see. Oh, boy. (laughs) What? That's stupid. And then I would get triggered. Wait, I have to recoup. What the fuck are you talking about? Ethan kills me with the recoup. (laughs) <laughs> but did you hear what she was saying she's worried and this is a worry because she always said that she only thinks that ethan did this podcast because she was dating moses and even though ethan says no 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 that wasn't the reason trisha believes it so now there it is a concern that if if this doesn't work and moses does indeed leave her she feels that She'd be X out of the podcast. There's a very real possibility to her. <laughs> Pretty recoup. I think you did. Maybe barely. But so that means you made a bunch of money and I recouped. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? Yeah. Well, I took more like traumatic experiences on the show. Like Dr. Drew like was in on me. Yeah. I feel like ev- like that was really good. And everyone's like, I'm Team Trisha now. Oh, I didn't get that vibe. You're not quitting this fucking show. Ethan means it. Believe me when I tell you Ethan was on board with Trisha. Let's say they broke up and it was a bad breakup. He would have been like, uh, no, uh, Hila, uh, we, there's a contract. So, uh, yeah, we have to, you know, deal with Trisha. You know what I mean? He'll tr- he would have tried. Like, I'm sorry. This is about business. Moses, can you please exit the premises? I'll have Theodore ex- escort you out. <laughs> I really do believe that he was for Trisha and that's what kind of scared him too. He was like, oh no, if this relationship breaks up, what is this going to mean for the podcast? Da, da, da. Because it was good business. For a time, it was good business and they had a really great chemistry and the ratings were up. Everybody was starting to tune in, you know, they were starting to get a momentum and Ethan was like, no, 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 this cannot stop. Moses, what are you doing? <laughs> You're just complaining about how I'm going to go be Regis Philman and leave your ass in the trenches. <laughs> You're still going to let me on if I break, if me and Moses break up? Yeah, what do I care? Oh. 
Shit. <laughs> I mean, really, like, yo, that's not even my brother. That's Hila's brother. <laughs> what do I care? <laughs> Moses, you know, Moses, chill. Don't worry. <laughs> we can still work together. <laughs> This is the thing. If Moses broke up with Trisha, it wouldn't have worked because Trisha would have been on a mad tear as if trying to get Moses back or forcing whoever's hand to get Moses back. It wouldn't have been a smooth cut. She would have been just all over the place with Moses, you know? If Moses truly left and was like, I want nothing to do with Trisha, Trisha would have raised hell. Trisha would have kicked up a storm. But Ethan would have tried, but then if Trisha would have kicked up a storm, it would have been impossible. But if she would have been able to calmly be a part of the podcast, you would have still went through with it for sure. I mean, it seems like it seems like you guys are being mature about it. And to, to the extent that like you guys, if you guys break up, you can have you can spar- separate amicably. It's not like, you know, he's like, what, what the fuck? Ethan, you're in fantasy land right now. <laughs> Ethan was just like in dreamland snoozing because there was no way. But in in fantasy world where everything's honky dory, Ethan was like, yeah, it would be an amicable split and you guys would be okay. And we could just still do that. No, (laughs) that wouldn't have happened. Uh, You guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he said something like, um, he was just, he, he's, the only reason why he's there right now is to support Trisha, because Trisha wanted him to come, because she was saying before, it would have looked bad if she would have showed up, people would have known something was wrong, so she was like, okay, Moses, just come with me now, so they won't ask me questions, and I feel uncomfortable there, so just come with me. Okay, fine. But Moses is saying, yeah, if we break up, I have no reason to be here, so you could still come to the podcast, I won't be here, and you know, everything would have been fine. No, it wouldn't have, Moses. You are in the same fantasy land is Ethan and just because you are both there doesn't make it real it's still fantasy land because it would have been so weird one it's just weird anyways I hate coming here before the podcast it's so awkward you're the most oh, never mind. what you're just so unwelcoming and that's why I need Moses here so I can go hide and I told him I was like can you just go hide with me somewhere because this is so what? awkward why why am I unwelcoming you literally never talk to me unless we're on the podcast what she needs Moses there for her support. She's already making a problem. So if Moses was gone, she's kind of saying too, she wouldn't even want to come there. Here's her little signal. Hey, Ethan, Gila, you know, put the pressure on Moses. You know, I'm the cash cow here. You know, if you want me to stay, you know, talk to Moses. But they can't talk to Moses because weren't you a part of driving a wedge between them? So don't now go to them to get them to coach Moses into going back to you. I don't like hear that you guys are fighting. I don't like it. Yeah. And I hope you guys can work it out. Mm. <laughs> we come back engaged. I'm like, we're getting married. Mm, you hear that? I hope you guys can work it out. We come back engaged. She's fishing for something. Yeah. How are you on the verge of breaking up with somebody and then like, <laughs> we come back engaged? Okay. You're not. You're playing hardball with Moses. You wanted the relationship to progress forward. It wasn't moving fast enough for you. Uh, that's kind of your <laughs> life, isn't it? Just kidding. Oh, he got mad. You're still I bought wearing my- edible panties. Maybe you and Moses can can uh <laughs> maybe the scent will <laughs> be ma- will be covered by the by uh canty panties. <laughs> canty panties. All right. Well, I'm just that's it. Throwing it out there. Wow. Ethan, <laughs> whoa, Ethan's not joking. They ate edible underwear. He got mad because I bought a ring that looked like an engagement ring. And he's like, well, if I was going to get you one, then it's not anyways. That's a whole other thing, too. You hear that? She bought an engagement ring. <laughs> hmm. We better go. Dan's going to have a hurry over there for over 30, an hour and a half. I don't know why you're so upset. I mean, we're having a conversation. Dan gets, Dan gets really upset when we go super over. Wait, why does he? I'm assuming it's because he, we're on a tight schedule. We started late. He wants to get it rated so we can get it up tomorrow, which is all really good. Yeah, what do you have to do tomorrow? We're, we're filming a content court. Maybe just cut a couple podcasts. No, why? They're we're not all bangers. No. So. But we're here for the people. We work for the but people. You could focus on quality over quantity. Like this. Then he wouldn't be stressed about 
this podcast that's amazing and gets over a million views every episode to go to Content Court, which is great if that's your passion project. But at the same time, let's focus on what makes money, you know? So- wow. Trish is a joker. You hear that? They get over a million views per episode at this point in time. Just yeah. frenemies that you're saying you're going to quit. <laughs> you're going to quit next week. All right. You can replace me. If you're quitting, I got to do I got to buy you guys a therapist or something. I got to make sure you guys get married because I don't want this to stop. Did you see that? What Ethan said and Trisha's re- Trisha's reaction? Did you see her face when he said that? That was all this was a ruse, a ruse, a ruse. Like her feelings. She wants someone on her side. And by her vaguely throwing out there that she can't even come back without Moses. She needs Moses there. Ethan played right into it. You know, I got to get you guys engaged. And the look on her face. It's like ding, 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 ding. You can replace me with Keemstar. You can just be friend of me. Can you? I wouldn't fucking sit in the same room as that. You guys were. He was on the podcast. Yeah, that was a long time ago. It wouldn't work with him and Keemstar because they were never friends to be frenemies. He could, but the show would be called Enemies. You know, you could do that and just call it Enemies. Okay, maybe. And he hasn't been pulling out, so we've been like trying to get a baby. Ew. So it's kind of like. Your <laughs> life is in such a fucking mess. I'm breaking up. I hate him. He's not pulling out. Never. The, since, ever since the past two weeks, no pull out. Is that because you want to get her pregnant? <laughs> oh, oh that's so not in yes. Because he says he has to have intent behind it. And I'm like, oh, do you have intent now? And he just said, yeah. Oh. He's trying to, but don't, but, but like you guys are on the rocks and you're trying to knock her up. We're not on the rocks. Oh, you're not? I feel like we'll always be together. We're not on the rocks. So what is, what was this whole charade that we just went through? Oh, Moses is saying yes. Probably. I mean, I don't know. It's only been 24 hours. Since do, you, we... do you hope that getting her pregnant will somehow <laughs> trap me? That is not true. That'll I'm fix you. the relationship. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do say that because it's hard to get pregnant for getting pregnant. It's really hard. And he goes, not with me. He's so he's so determined. His You're that the one. <laughs> You're... <laughs> it's not true. All right. This I don't know what to do. Maybe here. we'll be pregnant Let's next stop. episode. We're going to stop. Test. Should we do a live pregnancy test? If I'm a week late. I was a week late once. I thought I was pregnant. I was so sad. Honestly. Sure, if you're late, we can do a that'd be awesome. So fun. If you're late. Cool. Gila's are you late, Gila? <gasps> Not yet. Oh, this is so exciting. We'll do one together. I'll go on the H3 podcast. Can I can I pee on a stick? See if I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'll pee. All right. Remember, folks. I, I Trisha doesn't get embarrassed. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. All of this was a ruse. Now let's see how it all played out in the next episode. Two weeks later. Covenant, what was the announcement? Because I actually don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> this is so exciting. We officially, it's done, signed. We signed last night. We bought a house. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You guys did that? Yeah, we got it last night. Holy shit. Yeah. So you guys are... <laughs> You guys bought the house you were telling Both, me about? Yeah, and our names are on it. Do you want to? Oh, my God. Are you? I can't believe you guys got that house. 